What's going on guys, it's your boy Gata Maliga. Today we're actually gonna be talking Type R talk today. Um, I know a lot of you are super excited for, well, I guess most of you are super excited for the Honda Type R that was officially announced in Paris or actually showcased in Paris at the Paris Auto Show. I'm gonna be honest with you guys for just a second. I know we've been craving the Type R for years. I'm talking a, at least a decade. And you know what? In my personal opinion, in terms of powertrain, Honda delivered. In terms of looks, Honda really dropped the ball. And I'm gonna explain why. Now, I'm not here to complain. I'm just giving you guys my personal two cents on what I think about the Honda Type R, the Honda Civic Type R. <sighs> Before I get into talking about it, um, I wanna humbly apologize. I'm actually recording through my iPhone because I don't have a car mount for the DSLR yet. So um, we're gonna do old school, old school vlog right now. So anyways, so like I said, Honda officially announced the Honda Type R in Paris, and this isn't the official car, this is the concept. Now, we don't know, or I don't know, what powertrain it has, I don't know the suspension setup, I don't have any information other than the car looks kind of hideous. I mean, come on guys, Let's, we can all agree, and I mean, don't get me wrong, Ninth gens are not the best looking cars either. Because to be completely honest with you, and I've already said this before, um, the four doors look amazing on the ninth gen. The coupes, not so much. I like the rear end, don't like the front end. And to be honest with you, the front end was very controversial with the ninth gen coupes, which is which is what I which is the reason I think why nobody really bought the coupes. But moving on. So I mean, I saw it all over Twitter, all over Instagram, and look, let me tell you, I I don't see what's so special about it. It just looks like that ugly four-door hatch that we saw uh, not too long ago with the STI wing on it. Like, come on, people, let's be honest. You slap an STI wing on one of those four-door hatches, it'll look almost exactly the same as the Honda Civic Type R. Now, here's the, the reason why um, I think Honda really knocked it out of the ballpark in terms of performance. The car looks quick. The car looks like it means business. The the Euro spec, if, if it's anything close to the what the Euro spec Civic Type R was, man, are we in for a treat? Because if that car is at least 330 horsepower for a front wheel drive car, that's a lot. Okay. Now, what upset me a little bit is not only the looks but the limited production value that they announced. A lot of people were anticipating the Civic Type R. Why are you trying to limit the amount of people who can buy it considering people will actually pay money for a Type R? I know because I've seen it. I've seen our people already talking about they're gonna trade their ninth gens in for this Type R. And let me tell you, that's a crazy thought. I would never do it. Not only because is my car not even worth that much after the accident, but that's just ludicrous. I would never spend that kind of, I would never trade this car in for a car like that. I would never give up Clementine's looks for that hideous back end. Oh my God, spaceship alert. I think that Honda were just trying a little bit too hard with the futuristic stuff. Um, the front end, I'm gonna be honest, the front end looks a little bit aggressive. It grew on me. The back end though, oh God. Oh, that thing needs Jesus. On top of that, it's a hatch and it's, I can't even consider it a hatch. It, doesn't, it looks nothing remotely close to a hatch. It looks more of a, like a station wagon, to be completely honest with you. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. Now, what it excites me the most is the powertrain. I know Honda can really knock it out of the ballpark with this Type R, in terms of how much power they can squeeze to the ground without losing traction. I know Honda has the capability of doing that. People have been boosting K20s for ages now, and honestly, it's getting a little old. But, when done right, these, these cars are freaking quick. I'm telling you, it's freaking quick. And now, like I said, if it's anything like the Eurospec Civic Type R, we're in for a real treat. Because that car was really freaking quick on the Nürburgring. And look, numbers don't lie, man. Numbers do not lie. What I'm looking forward to mostly is the suspension setup, simply because of that reason. 
I know that the Civic Type R was meant to be a track car, not a drag car, not a roll race queen, and not even a stance queen. Because, like I said, this car looks like it means business. That's just my opinion. If I'm going to give a solid review on the car, as of what we can see now, I'm pretty sure it'll look much better in championship white, which I know is one of the colors that it might come in. I'd still give it about a 3 out of 10 simply because I don't know what kind of engine it has in it and what the suspension setup is like. But based on the, solely on the looks alone, I'm giving it a three. Because, guys, let's be honest, I know most of the Civic community do not like the newest Civic. They look hideous. And if you disagree with me, well, that's your opinion, but I'm, I'm just stating my opinion. I'm not complaining at all. I'm actually still looking forward to this car no matter, no matter how it looks because I'm really interested to see what the performance is going to be like on the track against the Focus RS, the STIs, and the Evos. Because I know this car can put up a pretty good fight. But that's just my two cents on the whole subject. So, I don't know guys. Leave me your personal opinions on the Civic Type R in the comments below. Because I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about the Civic Type R. Anyways guys, follow me on Instagram. That's going to be down in the description below. Make sure you follow me there for any updates. And also, quick update, I might be going to H2O. I might be. Because I heard TJ Hunt was going to be there. So I might be going tomorrow or today. Not necessarily sure. I'm going to be uploading this as soon as possible though. But once again guys. This has been your boy Gata Maliga. And I'm out. Peace.